Hello my lovely viewers, this is Taz from Taslima Maya Art. I hope you're all well and having a great day. If you enjoy the content on my channel, please do consider leaving a like, share and subscribe and do leave me a comment, I love hearing from you. I'm super excited today to have been invited as a guest artist for the tag team and up before me you would have seen the wonderful August acrylic art and after me will be creations with Tonya and the lovely Grandma Kathy's art adventure, brilliant artists and they've challenged me to try the pleated bloom. I've never tried this technique before so it was definitely a challenge so let's see what happened and thank you guys for inviting me it's wonderful to be here with you and I can't wait to see what you've done a big shout out to all my channel members too thank you for supporting me hello everyone and this is my challenge from August acrylic art I'm going to be doing a fluid art pleat um, I'm going to be doing a swipe pleat to keep it simple for myself. I've never done one of these before, so it's quite exciting and also quite nervous about doing it, getting it right. I don't know what's going to happen, so let's get started. I'm going to actually do um, the swipe on this 20 by 20 centimeter tile, and then I'm going to transfer it onto my 20 by 20 centimeter canvas. Actually, I think that's 15 by 15, which looks about right. This is 20 by 20, so I'm going to transfer it onto the canvas, hopefully. I've got a few things here, and I'm trying to think about which one would be the best one to use. That's clearly too small. It's my children's um, sandpit um, shovel, so we're not going to use that spade at all. And this one is slightly bigger, would be perfect, but there's a ridge, so I'm likely to lose any cells if I do get any cells, that is. So I'm not going to be using that either. And I thought that the only tool that I really have that might work is this one so maybe this would be useful there's a sticker on here I can't even get off but I'll try and use this side um, and see how that goes and I've got a palette knife here as well so let's get started I'm going to put my pillow paint down this is Valspar silk um, I'm going to put that down quite a lot of it I think I need hopefully there's no nothing in this paint that uh, shouldn't be in it um, it does get clogged up a little bit though so I think something fell in there and when it so I'm just going to pop that down and I'll speed up the rest of this so that it's easier and I'll pop some music on for you. The colours will all be down in my description box as well below, so I'm going to actually try and do quite a big one here. Just going to quickly torch my paint, get rid of those pesky bubbles on the surface at least. So here are my colours, I'm going to go through each of them. In a moment, it'll be down in my description box too. It'll be up on the screen. This is um, Royal Lang Nickel Magenta. Beautiful colour. And I've got a couple of others, and I'll tell you. There's uh, piggies. Uh, this little piggy's in all four of these. Right, let's put down our colours. So I'm going to start putting down my colours. Starting with this one. I think that's enough of that one. I'm ready to swipe. And my swipe colours are Amsterdam Oxide Black and Amsterdam Titanium White. And I'm going to pop it onto here. Hope that doesn't fall over onto it. So I'm going to put a lot of black and white. I'm going to do both. Um, I'll do white at the top and black at the bottom. So I'm just going to pop my cell activator on. And again, this is the Shelly Arts cell activator using Australian Flowchall. The ratio is about 3 to 1 with the paint. Just going to make sure there's enough of this on here and I'm not dripping any onto the paint in itself. I think I want more black than white because I really like cells that come up with the black. Put more on. There you go. I think that's enough. And then let's get some white on there as well. Here we go. We're ready. I'm just going to very quickly torch this paint. 
box a couple of bubbles. I'll we'll probably get them out now and then later. Okay, and now I'm going to swipe. Wish me luck. Turn it this way a little bit. And recording. There we go. I'll probably dip something into these gorgeous paints because I want to keep some of this paint. It's absolutely gorgeous there. I could dip some um, something in later or maybe scoop it up even. And you can already see all the beautiful cells coming up. Let's bring this up for you. Look at that. How gorgeous are these cells? Okay, so I can't dilly-dally. I now need to do something very difficult. So let's uh, plan that a little bit. So I'm going to scoop this up and try and transfer it. I'm a bit nervous. How will I do this? Hmm, okay. So I'm probably gonna pop that there. I'm going to now scoop this up. So where's August when you need him? So <laughs> time to ruin it. Um, Help. <laughs> oh, please get on my. I'm move this off. Put it on the floor, maybe. Right, because I'm dropping it all. Oops, I went a bit over. So now I'm going to try and pleat it. Going too fast. Oops. I'm not sure that's working. What do you think? What do you guys think? I'll probably run out of paint. Maybe I'll wait here a minute. Did they run out of paint? Yes, yeah, a very large canvas to try and pleat on. Wow, look at that. I wonder if you can see this. There's a little bit of bleeding happening. <laughs> I did kind of tilt my... I, I kind of panicked about where to put the other one because I haven't got much space here. And by doing that, I kind of... I'm going to scoop up a lot of this paint here now. I'm trying to get it on my... Get it on here. I actually needed a bigger surface space. But I'm trying to get use up all my paints, you see. So wait a minute, let me just turn this right around. Probably should have run close. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to pick this up and use up the rest of it and try and pleat it. <laughs> Last bit now. Let's try and pick this end up now. You can see. Where can I put this part? Maybe here? My room is covered, <laughs> it's all over the floor. Okay, so I'm going to try and scrape some of this stuff off with a stick or a palette knife because I need lots of paint around the edges. I'm still not ready for this technique. <laughs> right, let's um, move this away now. I'm going to fill in the edges now by scooping up all the paint around the sides. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just scooped up all of the paints. I've wasted nothing so far. It's all scooped up and from all my palette knife as well. And I'm popping it all over the top here so that there's enough flow. And this is the flow extender. So this is what it's currently looking like. I'm going to pop it down now. Okay, whoever came up with this really messy technique needs to have a word with themselves. So I'm going to pop this down as everything's a mess from the floor to my hands. And it won't even fit on this. Stay, please. It's not going to stay on there, is it? I'm going to spin it and fly off. So I've got to now spin this out. 
I think. <laughs> so. I'm worried about spilling it too much. So I'm spinning this design or pattern out. Wow, interesting. It's, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> so I'll come back when I've sat it out. So this is what it's currently looking like. It's got a couple of pleats across here, but they kind of started to kind of fade out. I'm going to just add a swipe on it because I love swipes and cover this bit here because I'm not quite... I'm just going to put a swipe all the way through. Just move it up that way a bit. There we go. Um, see how that looks. Hmm, it is a little bit odd, isn't it? Um, and maybe a little bit more to make that entire section black. And now I'm just messing about with it because I don't think I'm that good at doing these pleating things. Um, I think August, <laughs> you definitely take the medal for that because I can't really get it as good. And I mean, I'll bring it up to you now to have a look at it. So there's the pleating. Can you see that or not? What do you guys think? Let me know. I haven't got um, any time to do another one. Well, I would because everything's already messy, so I may as well. But um, I've got to go pick up my kids. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. It's unusual for sure. It's a <laughs> very tricky technique to get down, I think. And um, I'll spin it out a bit more, just get this bit out and off the edge and see if I can maybe... Um, I think I'm just going to mess about with it a little bit just to have a bit of fun. So I'm going to try and Yeah, that makes it look a bit nicer. So, yep, yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna probably see if any more holes come up. Yep, yeah, I've got lots of <laughs> lots of air bubbles and my pillow paint which are coming up, which is actually having all these white dots all across the top. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like now, final view. There's the pleats at the top and there's a kind of weird looking swipe at the bottom and lots of funky colours for sure what do you guys think do you like it hate it um i'm on the fence with it <laughs> it's not technically that's easy that's for sure so hats off to you august and um i'll take you in for a closer look i used to stay up all night trying to find my place chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace to leave me out of darkness give me a little faith so that's my first ever swipe and pleat done and dusted. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. If you missed August's acrylic art, he was up before me, so do go watch him at the end. And straight after me will be Creations with Tonya and then Grandma Cafe's art adventure after her. Please stay with us on the tag team and um, join in the live chat if you can. See you soon. Bye. Bye.